Welcome, 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 family, back to the house. Yes, back to our house where we sit down, we congregate with each other, we break bread, and then we start talking shit about what's trending out there on the social media tubes. Yes, we're going to get a story from Atlanta Black Star. They're talking about Candy Birds and Portia Williams and the Cookie Lady. It just won't go away, y'all. It just won't go away. Okay. We get this story, like I said, from Atlanta Black Star. The journalist's other's commentary was none other than Tia Berger. She gives her article of her title, I Don't Give a Uck. Candy Birds and Portia Williams exchange words over the Cookie Lady drama with Kenya. Okay. What a way, what a way to toss the salad. But I'm like, where's the salad dressing? <laughs> Where is the salad dressing? Okay. We go right on into the article. It says, it looks like the latest drama on the Real Housewives of Atlanta has Candy Burris and Portia Williams at odds. All right now. On Sunday's night's episode, Kenya Moore was seen verbally attacking Tanya Sam after they got into an argument about Sam claiming that Moore wore a wig and not her natural hair. And we're going to go on back to that in my sidebar. Yes, Kenya. I don't understand why you got mad at Tanya for showing your little wig accessory. You should be mad at yourself because while you were promoting that natural hair care line, you should have also been promoting accessories for the hair and the wear and tear that you can definitely use those items as well. Use them sparingly, but they are a great asset as well. Then you could have been like the double threat out there. Okay. Some people say triple threat, but I don't know what else you got going on other than your hairline and uh, Bravo or uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. So. I, I don't understand why you're so upset. You did it to yourself. You promoted one and only thing that was pure health care natural hair products then you got caught thinking nobody would out you because a lot of people already knew you wore accessories in your hair you wore extensions you wore wigs we who had eyes to see already knew that but since nobody wanted to come out why even expose it all right but anyway okay and then you wear makeup all the time that's so thick you, you don't really show yourself anyway and then you play a character it seems like every time we see you or you have definitely invested and you probably don't turn yourself into that particular character that you call yourself portraying so do we really know the real Kenya Moore only a psychologist can tell us and weigh in on that situation okay because as we know your mom did a head job on you and it has been progressing and progressing for the worse okay so seek counseling can you more once again seek counseling okay but um just another sidebar i'm sorry i did not welcome my family into the house come on in the house kick off your shoes curl up and let's just have a conversation shall we i think we shall okay hope your day was pleasant anything you want to get off your chest do it at this time Okay, well, I guess it wasn't that important, or I'll read it in the comments. If something else uh, one of the family members wanted to discuss before we got into our commentary. But you're always welcome, even the ones that we have tried to dismiss from the uh, the uh, family. But I guess you can't really dismiss your family, even though sometimes you just wish they would go away. <laughs> <laughs> you know they would go to the ends of the earth okay but they do show back up they show out and then we have to ha ask them to go away again okay but they would be nameless at this time but i have definitely interact with them just recently and they seem to be playing good ball good ball respecting the household and everything so we won't call them out again because we already did those who have eyes to see in that comment section see but it's already known. I'm watching. Okay. But going back to the article. It says the former Miss USA. Pageant called Sam a unt. C-U-N-T. Get it. Got it. Good. Most men will call women that. Not women on women. You see what I'm saying? So Kenya just. She don't hit 
below the ankles okay because i used to say they hit the kneecaps but kenya has definitely grown below that she done went below the ankles now she is definitely at the feet okay kenya is gnawing at somebody's feet that's how low she has played the ball of ratchet was it ratticity ratchet Ratchet tree, whatever y'all know what I'm saying. Just being fake, fraudulent, full of fuckery, and fake. Okay, fake, and with a lot of foolishness, fraudulent, of her total demeanor, and giving us total nothing but fuckery. All right, I just had to get my four else out there because every time I talk about Kenya Moore, that's what it makes me go to. Okay. <laughs> But going back to the article, it says a former USA pageant called Sam A. Unt and brought the cookie lady to the outing. The woman more claims Sam's fiance, Paul Judge, made a pass at. Okay. Now, if it was really good television, they would have brought Nene in with this upcoming episode, hopefully showing Kenya and Mar of some of the ladies that she wanted Ma to just partake of. Now that would be some mess. Now what would Candy Birds think about that? Probably nothing. She would probably dog Nene out with her evil ass. Okay. But we're gonna move on. Yeah, back to the article it says Burris chimed in on the ongoing feud between co stars Moore and Sam and discussed the latest episode on her YouTube channel. However, when the scene of Moore calling Sam a C word appeared on screen on screen, Burris laughed uncontrollably and said, I don't know if I really have an opinion. All I know is that um is that was some good drama. Really candy, really. Why does somebody call you an aunt? Uh, everything but the child of God. What? Well, how would you feel about that? Okay. The only thing you're going to do is laugh. Because I said, hey, it wasn't too funny. When uh, Phaedra was getting in your ass, right? And all those lies she was putting up on you. You were doing more crying than anything else, okay? And, and snapping them hands when you was at Nene's lingerie ray. Uh, type of party she was having for everybody when I don't forgot what happened, but it just all went south. And you talking about you want to drag a bitch in there? I'm like, girl, who are you gonna drag? Cause since you've been on this show, you've been a lot of talk, no action. But what I can't say about Portia, she grabbed somebody's hair and wouldn't let them go. She was shaking them every which way but loose, okay, and literally dragging them, <laughs> okay. Now that woman is about that life. But Candy, you say you about that life, but you not the life the lies, the lies, the lies you tell. Okay, girl. Honey, tiny coattail Harris is about that life, but you ain't candy. You ain't. But moving on. Uh, and probably the Scott girls told you behind up too when you call yourself getting into an altercation with them. Okay, I'm just saying. I am just saying. But moving back to the article, it said, um, Boris. Okay, I'm sorry. A fan page of Bravo series reposted Burr's thoughts and her co-star Williams chimed in and underneath the comments saying, no opinion says a lot. Whoo. Okay, yes, Candy was shady. She didn't want to take up for uh, Tanya, but she called herself a Tanya friend and lover. Okay. She at first she was trying to say she didn't know Tanya like that. I'm like, Kenya, don't I mean Candy, don't nobody know each other like that. Cause all y'all fake fraudulent on this show, full of fuckery and foolishness. Okay. I'm just saying. But moving back to the article it says the escape singer provocatively fired back at Williams. No opinion says I don't give a uck. Giving you clarity just in case you're trying to read too much into that. Well, Candy, with you having to have to come back and express yourself from your platform to this platform. Talking about you don't give a up. That was just poor shit spreading in your face. You did give a up because... You wouldn't have responded. You see what I'm saying? A no response means silence. All right. Silence is golden when you're trying to make a point, a pivotal point at that. You showed your hand. You did not have a poker face and you lost once again. Oh, God, baby. You lost once again. I don't know how you can become anybody deemed as an OG or a very well solidified person on this show because right now you're still the bone collector and you at the lower level of probably being the same way being done in the future like nene is being done okay because you have nothing that you're giving us unless mama joyce is helping you and the fam 
with your storyline or taught is cutting up in them streets and you got to go back and do damage control okay you're just Second, third, fourth, fifth rated, just like you were in Escape. Wasn't nobody checking for you. They were checking for the Scott sisters, baby girl. The Scott sisters. Every man needs a woman. That's how you pretty much sound. Deep throat voice. Nothing else giving us nothing else. So, we're going to move on. It says, like the rest of the fans, William seemed taken aback by her castmate's response and reply. Oh, goodness. Yes, Candy was flying them blanks, wasn't she? We know, of course, you'd be coming out with the real, the real arsenal, okay? And you pretty much can be the, uh... What do you call it? The slay assassin they trying to name Kenya as? No, honey. Kenya is not a slay assassin. She's just a, a person with a filthy mouth who was deemed Miss USA, which they should strip of her title because she's on this fake, fraudulent, foolery, fuckery show. And it's just showing women in a bad light. And with all her intelligence, she does possess but never wants to show it on this show. Should strip her very well because she's not trying to be nobody's ambassador, cutting up and acting up, especially calling another female a uh, aunt. C U N T. Okay. C U N T. Where they do that at and why? And why would she even put it in her vocabulary? That is too crazy. Too crazy. And not. Uh, full of no objectiveness, okay? She just came to spew evil, and that's what she came to do, and she did very well. Another uh, daughter of Satan, as you must call it. But anyway, it says fans had mixed reactions over the ladies' exchange. Candy never has anything to say when it comes to Kenya, and that's ucking whack. Hmm, how you have an opinion on everything else but that? I'm telling you, Portia. Call a spade a spade. You're doing very well. Shall you proceed? I say yes, indeed. We're going back to the article. It says, well, damn, Candy. Wrong road, Portia. Wrong road. Portia commented on a situation that has nothing to do with her. Uh, that for my ass off. She started stuff now. She's starting stuff now. That's what a commenter said. Then another one said, LOL, Candy Corny. I'm happy Portia calling them all out. Yes, yes, that's right. Read them down to their feet, uh, Portia. Not in this article, that's just my sidebar. Going back to the article, it said, that wasn't even called for. But, uh, OFC. I don't know what that's, I don't know what OFC means, y'all. Y'all got to tell me what that means. That abbreviation and that slang, I, I can't get it. Just type the shit out, people. Type the shit out. Stop abbreviating. But anyway, it says, that wasn't even called for, but... OFC because it's Portia. She felt like she needed to go in. But if it was Kenya, her ass would have been polite or mute. She's Candy's lap dog. There you go. There you go. Then we got another one that says Portia should stay in her bloody lane. The same way she has an opinion. Candy can say she has none. Why well, start a drama with Candy when Kenya did that? Uh, sheesh or something like that. Uh, another one wrote recently in Burris co-stars Nene Leakes accused of having her or Nene Leakes accused her of having an alliance with Moore but Burris denied her accusations. Well the proof is in the pudding. We see what Candy is she, and who she sided with. We don't need to hear nothing else from Candy. Candy just shows her shit out where we can partake of it. Nothing more, nothing less. That's just how Candy gets down. I don't know when people are going to start realizing and calling out Candy's ways. I mean, a spade is a spade. She only cares about herself and who she tries to get to make herself look in a better light. But she don't know the people she invite in. Okay, is the ones that's going to take her out. All right, let me see what this has to say. This audio, see what it's going to be talking about. I can play for y'all. My phone at right. Come on, phone. Oh, no. Basically, uh, a lot of black stars showing some clips of Portia and Ken in happier moments uh, when they call themselves have made up. Let me see what. I think this is a clip of Candy again, which I played in my last video. Yeah. 
yeah that was something we don't need to regurgitate um y'all can definitely go over to her youtube channel and get her edification on the real housewives of atlanta that had aired on yesterday oh not yesterday i'm sorry this past sunday all right but guys that's all i had of this particular video get down in them comments and do what y'all are famous for doing and that is interacting with family members okay keep it cool keep it light and understanding and then being enlightened uh from your family members giving their opinion on subject matter okay y'all stay breezy i will see y'all next video and don't forget to always comment in the comment section as well as share and like our videos and subscribe to our channel all right talk to you guys later bye bye